diplomatic mission for you. An important Vulcan ambassador is traveling from his homeworld to the monastery at Pajem. Capturing the ambassador would be a major coup for the Klingons or Orions, so we're assigning you to make sure everything goes smoothly. You are to escort Ambassador Soketh to Pajem. Please meet him at Vulcan. Once you locate him, speak with him about the transport mission. Do whatever is necessary to keep him safe. My friend sacrificed so much to secure peace with the Klingons. I bear the responsibility for the consequences to him and his crew, a thought that troubles me to this day. The hope was that this alliance would last forever. It did not. The Klingons have chosen war. The Federation is doing its utmost to protect its borders and the billions of innocents who call this space home. But I fear that this conflict may be our undoing. Greetings. Thank you for agreeing to escort the Ambassador to Pajem. Ambassador Soketh is currently attending a ritual to honor the end of the Kal Rek holiday. He will be done soon, but the Ambassador is hesitant to use transporter technology. His bias against the transporters is not logical, but I have come to accept it. I believe that Soketh would be much more comfortable traveling by shuttlecraft. I have received clearance for you to land near the Ambassador's location. I look forward to meeting you in person. Starfleet Shuttlecraft, this is Vulcan Orbital Control. You are cleared to land at the requested coordinates. Welcome to Vulcan. Please enjoy your stay.
peace and long life? Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Sarketh accuses me of abandoning logic, but he is the one refusing to explain his reasons for wanting to go to Pajem. The planet is sacred. Our ancestors walked those paths. They found understanding and serenity in its quiet. When I am at Pajem, I feel more at peace than any place else in the galaxy. Pajem has been touched by outside influences in the past. The Federation is at war. Now more than any other time, we must protect this refuge. Peace and long life. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? That should never have happened. Buildings that had stood for 12 centuries were destroyed because we allowed politics and war in a place where there should only be logic and contemplative thought. As you know, when the Federation was founded, your people and mine rebuilt the monastery by hand. We pledge to keep it safe from the cares of the galaxy. Now only those who seek peace may enter. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Even a people who reject emotion require peace and contemplation. We are a spiritual people. Our rituals guide us throughout our lives. Vulcans who choose a life of study and isolation, as the monks at Pajem have done. Help us maintain our connection with our ancestors. The monk's study of Sirach's words in the Kirshara give us all a greater understanding of who we are and who we should strive to be. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Centuries ago, the Vulcans were creatures of emotion. We fought one another in a series of wars that devastated our planet. Our species was on the brink of annihilation. Sirach taught us to embrace peace and to put aside our emotions in favor of logic. Sirach ushered in a time of awakening on Vulcan. His writings, the Kirshara, shaped all that we are. Without Sirach, the Vulcans you know would not exist. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? I neither trust him nor distrust the Ambassador. I simply do not understand him. He will not reveal his reasons for wishing to speak to the Abbot, and has refused a mind meld with me. Normally I could respect his privacy. But other things I have heard trouble me. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Sokoth has spent more and more time away from Vulcan in recent years, and seems ill at ease in what was once his home. Tapella admits he has changed in the past few months. He spends hours closeted in his study, and does not share meals with his staff as he used to. Tapella says that the stress of the war with the Klingon Empire is taking its toll. She hopes the peace of Pajem will restore him. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? The monks do not use any unnecessary technology. Even replicators are not permitted on Pajem. There is a communications array available to the monks for emergencies. Soketh's request does not qualify. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? 
I will permit it if you will pledge to me, on your honor as a Starfleet officer, that you will protect Pajem from harm. Sokath says his reasons for wanting to speak to the Abbot are private. I will accept that, but only if you are with him. I know I can trust Starfleet. Please, protect Pajem from any who would violate its sanctity. Welcome to Vulcan. Do you have any questions? Excellent. Our departure has been delayed long enough by the whims of one man. I am prepared for the journey and can leave immediately. Starfleet Shuttlecraft, we have logged your flight trajectory, and you are cleared for departure. Live long and prosper. This is Captain Katak to all Klingon vessels. Target their warp drive. There will be no escaping our vengeance this time. a day for words. My fellow captains were blinded by our vengeance toward the shapeshifter aboard your vessel. They have died with honor. But if I am to die this day, then I would prefer to regale the halls of Stovokor with the tale of that foul creature's death. Ha! So even the mighty Federation has been fooled by the beast. Your guest from Vulcan is not as he or she seems, Captain. They are an Undine. They put on a false face and try to control us, but we Klingons know better. 
We will hunt them down until the last of these honorless dogs die screaming. Proof? Pa! Allow me to stick a blade in its belly while I look it in the eye while it dies. That should be proof enough, even for Starfleet. If you wish the honor of the kill yourself, then it is yours to have. So long as the Undine dies, I will meet my death with eyes wide open and victory in my heart. I await your decision. Close hailing frequencies! My patience is growing thin, Captain. If you lack the stomach to slay the beast aboard your vessel, then any Klingon here would gladly do it for you. I'd hate for you to stain that pretty Starfleet uniform with Undine blood. Then the beast is slain? Makka! Very good. Perhaps you've the heart of a warrior after all. Let me look upon our enemy, and tonight we will dine together as warriors and drink to the honored dead! Captain, I take my meditations very seriously. Why have I been summoned to the bridge? Alive? You're a fool, Captain! Strike now before it's too late! You want proof? Then lower your shields and allow me to beam over. Once the Undine's blood coats my blade, you'll see it for what it truly is. A Grint Hound in Tark's clothing. There's no need, Captain. The situation is not difficult to unravel. My concern lies in the logic of you entertaining this Klingon's meritless claim. A most illogical conclusion. Allow us to examine the facts, Captain. You have a crippled Klingon vessel, whose captain has made unsubstantiated claims that I am an Undine, a species that is known to both the Federation and the Klingon Empire as a considerable threat. Potentially, but only if a great many other factors were to be true. Is it not much more likely that the Klingons have in the face of defeat, instead sought to exploit Starfleet's desire for peaceful resolutions to conflict in order to repair their vessel and renew their assault. A true warrior strikes without mercy, Captain. 
I only hope to teach you this lesson personally before the Undine does. We may not be able to best your vessel, but a Klingon knows many roads to victory. The beast may have evaded my vengeance for now, but I can still ruin its plans here at Pajem. A wise precaution. Though I admit I am eager to see my people safe, I will await word until the monastery is secured. And Captain, let not my journey here be for naught. A wise... I have terrible news. 
Vulcan security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Soka. They have determined that he was killed by a phaser blast at short range. His remains were discovered in a stasis chamber hidden in a cavern beneath the Ambassador's residence. The Ambassador on your ship, the one that I have been working for, is an imposter. You need to be very careful. This imposter was able to fool Sokes' closest associates for months. He is crafty and very patient. Now that he has been discovered, he will be dangerous. Such emotion on your face. I see now my deception has been exposed. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. You are weak, and the weak shall perish.
This is Captain LaForge of the USS Challenger. Glad to see we made it here in time to lend you a hand. Perhaps you'll return the favor someday. LaForge out. The Ambassador was an Undine? Hmm. I'm afraid their infiltration of the Federation goes much deeper than we realized. Who knows what kind of havoc they could create? Congratulations, Lieutenant. 